let's have a look. So I got an email from Freely Banana Girl, just to let you know that I didn't Photoshop it, blah, 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 blah. Again, this is all on Philly's account. If you want to put $100,000 on it that I'm lying, we'll put it on, we'll put $100,000 on the table. You can, we'll do a live. You can fly over and we'll show it to you on the laptop from Philly's account. So pause the video any time if we're going too fast for you. Just pause the video any time if you're going too fast. And again, don't hate this person. Disappointed, but this is definitely not hate. This is just more to clear my name, clear the air, so us in the vegan community can decide uh, who was lying, you know, who was being a bit, uh, a bit suspect, and who was actually telling the truth. As Freely wanted to get involved in the situation, we're gonna get Freely involved later in this video. Now let's go through the messages between Hannah and Freely. First, you can see Freely said she got a strange Tumblr comment. Now, who do you think sent that strange Tumblr comment? As you can see in Hannah's comment, she says this was kept extremely private. And as I said earlier, this situation was all about Harley getting back at Freely. So Hannah tells Freely that something happened, and we know that something happened. And then we can see that Hannah says she's really sorry. Now, why would Hannah say she's really sorry if she got raped? It's called cognitive dissonance, and we would much rather blame ourselves than to really let in that true information that it, it is the abuser because it's too frightening. It's too scary. There's too much cognitive dissonance going on. It causes massive amounts of confusion in the brain because we're connecting the abuser to whatever the original trauma was. It's too scary to confront that because now we have to go back and deal with this. Remember I said that Hannah was diagnosed with PTSD? I'm gonna get more into that later and that's when you're really gonna understand how evil Harley is. But now let's just go through this first. Did you notice another thing in Harley's video? Look at this email. Here he's telling Hannah to apologize to Freely. And as we've seen earlier in this video, he has constantly told Hannah to apologize to Freely, apologize to Freely. So the only thing this apology proves is how much power and control Harley had over Hannah. And then Freely asks Hannah to tell her about the whole situation. And then Hannah says she will find it easier to talk to her instead of typing it out. So Hannah and Freely had a Skype call and it was like Freely had already made up her mind. So the first half of the Skype call freely just constantly blamed Hannah and said Hannah took this opportunity to sleep with her man and stuff like that and Hannah had to constantly defend herself and say no it wasn't like that and stuff and after the first half freely finally started to see that it wasn't like this and that's when freely opened up and told Hannah about the other girls and told her that Harley was very manipulative and stuff like that. Freely also told Hannah, Hannah didn't mention this in her video, but Freely told Hannah that she had to threaten Harley to call the police on him to get him to listen. Hannah also had two friends over during the Skype call that can confirm everything that was said there, and Freely knows this. Now, Harley said he had Skype calls, but there was only one Skype call, and that was the Skype call between Freely and Hannah. And we've called Harley out on this before to show the Skype call, but he wouldn't. So let's call his bluff once again. Here you can see someone asks Harley about the Skype call. And then of course he quickly backtracked and claimed that Freely didn't want him to release it. But in this email between Freely and I, Freely says she never said that. I also asked Freely if she could send the Skype call to us so we could use it as evidence. But conveniently, Freely couldn't find the file. And here you can see a conversation between Hannah and one of the friends that was there. Just confirming everything I've said, you can pause and read for yourself if you want. And here you can see the dates the messages were sent. Now why do you think they won't show the Skype call? Harley used the Skype call as evidence, and now it's time to put the evidence forward. But he won't, will he? So we have an ebook cover. Now what date is this? this I was very happy with the ebook cover, I uh, had no problems with that. That's 28th of October. So this is about a day after or two days afterwards we had uh just about two days after we had sex no it wasn't this was the same day before the rape now harley is confirming hannah's story we've showed you the screenshots we now know the dates now we can extract some more information out of harley's video if we pull this to the left then it reveals the time the ebook cover was sent and the time is 10:03. Now if you look at the file on Hannah's computer, it says 10.02. So when Harley sat down next to Hannah and covered his crotch with a cushion, Hannah downloaded the ebook cover from the online editor she used to make the changes, and then sent it straight to Harley. And it was right after that that the assault began. Now Hannah is sporting a large hickey on her neck. So I don't remember doing that, 
uh, she seems to be pretty proud of the fact that she does have a hickey on the neck the day after she came back to my hotel room. And this video was uploaded 27th. That was the day before the rape. And now suddenly Harley can't remember doing it. He made a big deal out of him making it. Not that that would vindicate him. It's not like a rapist can't make a hickey. So you have to remember he's defending himself uh, against rape allegations, according to himself. So we see that there's comments there from uh, Jason Squidward that there's a hickey and how to jokingly sort of makes a joke of it. Yeah, Hannah joked about something that looked like a hickey. A joke like that have never been made before. I believe it's called sarcasm. That comment has been such deleted. So we went back to the video today. The hickey's still there. The date's still the same, the 27th. That's right, the 27th, the day before the rape. People notice that the hickey comment has been deleted. Which hickey comment? This hickey comment. So if you were sexually preyed on Hannah, then why would you make joke of it the next day by putting up a video with a hickey on your neck? Well, she hadn't been sexually preyed on at that date. This was the day before, as we know. We also know that it wasn't a hickey. I don't even understand what his point is. A hickey doesn't vindicate him, even if it was a hickey. And he also says uh, he doesn't even remember doing it. So what's his point? His point is to hu publicly humiliate Hannah. That's his point. Why would you then uh, do me an ebook cover? The ebook cover was made before the rape. Why would you then continually email me or send me messages on Instagram? Yeah, why would she? Look at what he's doing when she stopped playing along with his sick games. Now let's have, I won't show all the emails or all the Instagrams, but let's just have a look at a couple of the emails and we were pretty chummy, we were pretty friendly. This is sort of not the conversations you'd have with someone who's raped you or sexually assaulted you, would you? Really? You wouldn't play along with someone's sick games if you knew that the person would try to destroy your life if you didn't? And as Harley proves himself, he is willing to try to destroy you if you don't do as he wants. Look at all the videos I made. I showed you the lengths Harley has gone to to try to make me fall in line. He has doxxed my mom, he has contacted my teenage sister, he's contacted old friends of mine, he sent death threats, he's threatened me with lawsuits. And they force you to be what they need you to be. So if I'm the narcissist and I'm talking to you, your personal history, your likes, your needs, your wants, your hopes, your dreams, your vulnerabilities, your emotions, they don't mean anything because you're just a prop on the stage of my play. And if you ever infringe on my awesomeness, then I'm gonna come after you and I'm gonna punish you. If you infringe on my awesomeness or if you challenge me, that's called narcissistic injury. When I move to punish you and my punishment is disproportionate to your crimes, uh, such as they were, such as they were not, they were never crimes, it is not a crime to challenge another human being for acting like a dickhead. Um, and my rage is disproportionate, my punishment is disproportionate, that's called narcissistic rage. Harley had gotten himself in a position where he could literally destroy people. And as he has proven himself, he is willing to try to destroy people if they don't do as he wants. That's exactly what he did when Hannah stopped playing along with his sick games. And now he's trying to use this as proof that he forced her to act the way he wanted, to pretend like everything was fine. I'm going to stop talking now and you can pause the video anytime. So he shows a bunch of emails that don't prove anything. Why won't he show the other emails, the ones where Hannah supposedly complimented him about the sex and that she was flirting and sexting him and all this. Why won't he show that? Here you can see that he's telling me that he has these emails. Show them. Here's another email he sent, bringing up emails, audio recordings and personal messages. Show them. It's just talk, talk, talk. His bluff has been called. He even claims that he has a recording of Hannah saying she has boob implants. Now, as I've said before, Hannah has never had any kind of plastic surgery. So this recording is sure gonna be interesting to listen to. Here's another one where he claims he has audio and email proof. And as I proved before, he's willing to make fake accounts to get people to believe his lies. Here's a comment that was left on a re-upload of Hannah's video and an account that appears to be Hannah say, I can't believe how stupid I was to make such a video. I'm sorry to all my viewers and supporters whom I've let down. But then you can see Hannah's actual account replying underneath, saying, the above account you replied to isn't me. If you hover over the name, you can see that this isn't Hannah's real account.